Hello everyone, Tyler here, coming to you with another episode of Slime Rancher. It has been a minute, so I am not sure where I left off. Let's jump right into this. I did decide to start talking my videos from now on, so you will hear my commentary. So if I do have any, if my mic's too quiet, too loud, just leave a comment down below. Of course, you can watch the rest of this series. I'm not sure what episode we're on. As I said, it's been a little bit, but I do not talk in any of those. Just a heads up. They are just gameplays, so if you want to just skim over those to catch up with what we've done. Yeah, let's, let's get into this once the game loads. Hopefully I'm in a decent place. I have no memory at all of what I did last time I was on. I think I was working towards the glass desert in the ending of the game. Let's see. I have briar hens. Alright, what are these? Quantum red. Interesting. Do need money. I'm just gonna quickly sell these and I'll make my way to where I wanna be. I am going to save five of these quantum ports and you'll see why in a second. Unless I already did that, but I don't believe I did. Alright, I do that. Do these guys have food? They don't. I'll give them food. I don't want them going hungry and causing a mess. Boom slimes. When hungry, will explode. When happy, they'll explode. They'll just they just explode, and it's it's a mess. I don't need any of these. I don't believe. I will get this pulse wave and extra health. Uh, I might as well. Doesn't hurt. All right. So on the way, I want to find two briar hen. This game is always a relaxing switch up from everything else that I play. Three keys. I think that's actually enough to just completely beat the game right now. That's more than enough, actually. <laughs> I think from here I only need two keys, maybe? I think I'll go ahead and get the ending of this game in this episode. That can't hurt. Of course, I'll continue this series if you guys would like me to. Otherwise, you can just end it off here. Let me know down in the comment section below. Making our way around here. All oh, the phosphor gordos died out. Not gordos, sorry. Uh, the feral largos. Very interesting names. I believe I go to the right after going down the hole. Up, oh, up. Oh. So I'm looking for two briar. Briar normally spawn up here. They're normally untouched, or at least a couple of them are untouched by the tabby. We'll just head on up here. There's only a few sitting up here. Only one, really. I should find more on the way there. If I don't, this is going to be kind of awkward. But I don't feel like just standing there. Yes, <laughs> yes, I did open this in the last episode. That's how I got my quantum slimes. My question is, did I do the quantum gordo? I did just completely forget about that one. Uh, as always, consoles, they're so laggy. Very beautiful area, but it's just so in- the lag is so intense. It's like running on like, what feels like 20 frames. You can just see how much it lags when I just try to look. Uh, I'll just take two stunny hens. They'll work in a replacement for what I need. This is definitely one of my- favorite skips in this game. Alright. So, I think I want to drop down here, right? There's a gold echo. Not too worried about those. Alright, so not down here. This is not where I want to go. I'm just going to go up here real fast, not fall off to my death. I'm going to see. Did I open this yet? I don't think I touched this area. I did not. Alright. 
I'm just gonna go ahead and open this area up, but we're not gonna go here just yet. Let's save that for a second. Make sure I'm not standing in there. Ends up a cool little teleporter. The ruins used to be some kind of warp station used by whoever created to connect to one of the most distant corners of the far, far range. Be careful, Beatrix. Once you cross over, you'll be in a truly untamed country. Though beautiful, the other side can be un an unforgiving place. H. Neat. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go pop one more Gordo before I head over there. I just do not remember how to get to him. As the case is more often than not. I forget. I'm assuming... I need to go back over this wall, so... We'll do that real fast. I did not get my jump, that sinks. Well, my energy recharge is a little stuff in this. Something I care about. Phase lemon. Don't need it. I already got plenty. <laughs> and, okay. Right up over here. It's a little laggy. Not even little at this point. It is very laggy. So I want to come down here. And I am trying to get behind him. So I think if I just jump right over here. If I'm not mistaken. Sorry about that. That right there was the Boom Gordo. That's why I got all those briar hens. That's his favorite food. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and we're going to explore a brand new area that I have not shown you all yet. My opinion, definitely the best part of this game. It's very pretty. I think you'll like it. Here we are. The Glass Desert. Just adore the music here as well. It's an item I'm going to be looking for real fast. If it's not here, I'll just get it later. It does have a chance of spawning in either of these little pockets. Is that it? No, it's just grass. I don't think it spawns down in these, but I'll check anyways. It does not appear to be there. This is by far my favorite place in this map. This game is very pretty. Very good atmosphere, music, and everything. Here's one of the new slimes here. The Dervish Slime. I will be collecting a chunk of these slimes, take them back home. These didn't grow in, that sucks. And here's the new kind of chicken that lives here, the painted hen. Let's see. The glass desert is a fascinating place, but you need to be on your guard. At any moment, a dangerous solar anomaly can occur that will cause all heck to break loose for a spell. You'll know it when you see it, and when you do, head for cover or risk of burning your tuchus. H. And of course, little painted chick. Chickadees, as always, just a little baby chickens. Oh, well, here we go. This happened a lot sooner than I thought. I will be able to show you the new slime that appears from it there. Quite similar to the water slime, once I find one. I'll head over here and start going in the direction I want to be. One more dervish. Fill in the map. Couple of escape. So as it's stated, we're going to start getting just random spurts of fire coming out of the ground, fire meteors, whole bundle. And here's that slime that I want to show you guys. I hear the fire slime. 
he is very similar to the water slime where he has to be in uh, he actually has to be in a furnace or else he will just cook up and die not cook up but burn out and die I wish here there's feral slimes as you can see I'm getting damage for the fire but it's nothing deadly so I'll just keep on running We are going to head down this way. Uh, I think I go up. Yep. That is correct. Head right down this hallway. There is little holes in the floor, so I'm going to make sure not to, you know, kill myself. I did do that before. Of course, when you die, you lose your entire inventory. It sucks. I am going to grab these. This is Dervish's favorite food, the prickly pear. Couldn't tell you why they like that, but... I don't judge. Alright, right into the end of the game. Two doors, Beatrix. Life is filled with moments where two doors, and you can only choose one. I came to the far, far range because of a search for the unknown. It was in my bones, and in time, even a thousand light years away from Earth wasn't enough, so I searched for secrets within the ancient ruins that led me here. This place was my ticket to go even further. You can pick left or right. I'll go with left. The ruins are actually great engines that allow for, tra for travel through space and maybe even time. After years of study, I knew how to activate them, and I alone would be the first to cross over into the true beyond. It was the ultimate adventure. Then there's that other door. I met Thora and fell in love. What are the chances of that? She had peace in my heart, and the universe had the other. Two doors, Beatrix. I'm gonna go ahead and go left. I chose my door. I went back to the ranch and promptly sold it. I packed my things and took a tour of this beautiful land one last time, leaving these little notes for you. It was time I said goodbye to the life I had. My hands and feet tingled as I approached the monolithic warp terminal. What lay ahead of me was an adventure unlike anything I'd ever known in my life. I stepped on the platform, my heart racing. But I didn't go. I had packed for a new adventure, but it wasn't going to be beyond space and time, so I said a little I said a little goodbye to what could have been and head to Thor's ranch. I'm looking forward to hearing the sounds of those wind chimes. Never been in love before, never known anything like it. It's time I got to know what all the fuss is about. So good luck to you, Beatrix. Always remember to use your head, but let your heart do the thinking. Every now and again. It might surprise you, H. So after all of that, pretty touching. I like it at least. We need to head back to the ranch. I'd kill myself and go back, but I don't want to lose all this stuff because running back here is isn't exactly fun. It's a long run. So on the way back, I'll let you think about that message. Enjoy the music a little bit. This game love. This game is just lovely, isn't it? Of course, one more time, I'll say it. If you want to see me play through this game and progress it as far as it can go, just leave a comment. I'll see it. Trust me. <laughs> I check all the comments, all the, so I'll respond. And if I get a few people saying they want to see the series continue, I'll go with it. Continue progressing my ranch. Or not, we'll just leave it here at the ending. I guess it can't hurt to take some fire slime home. They'll find a spot where they can, where they can live. There is a teleporter that will take me home, but I don't have enough chickens to unlock it. I do need one more, like getting six of these. Six is just my luckiest number in this game. So, I'll just run back here. And we'll take this teleporter. Of course, the intense music. 
soft but intense. I, I adore it. We'll take this teleporter home instead. So for the ending, I am going to have to sleep a couple times. So I'm going to go throw everything into a... Whatever it's called. Storage unit. That's the word I'm looking for. Silo. You get what I mean. Oh, I forgot I had those guys. Alright. Oh, what? Oh, you can't put slimes into it? Lame. Makes sense, but... Lame. Alright. I do need to sleep a lot, so I'm gonna make sure they have food. They have plenty. They'll survive. So I don't want total pandemic happening at my ranch. So just as I started this series, and as I may close it out, I'm just gonna mass sleep a couple days. Make sure everyone's fed. I never put an auto feeder on these guys. I'm gonna turn it on slow. That way they'll be fed and won't try to murder me. Because those dudes, they can be a hassle. They teleport outside their cage. They're just a mess. I'm gonna see what I can steal out of here. Just one. I'm at the sleep and then whatever it's called. Give them more food, and that's what I'm looking for. New Year's Eve. That may be the one I'm looking for. May not. I'm just gonna quickly fill up these dudes' food. They do have a lot of food in here, so I'm just gonna try and scoop up some of it. Contrary, I doubt these guys are going to be too happy. Mm, they don't seem too upset. They actually have extra food in there somehow. <laughs> Alright, we'll do that. And I will sleep until I get the ending. star mail then all right that's hard module I need to feed these guys because they're getting out of hand yeah you can see they they teleport outside their cage and they're just a real mess I wish she'd just send me the rest of the mail so I can get the dang ending. I don't want to sell these ports because it's going to take so long, but it's becoming overrun. Genuine problem later. Alright, eighty three, that's cool. I don't really care. This, these guys as well, just so they don't run out of space in here. Alright, sweet, 
sweet. So these by my left one upgrade that I can get. <laughs> then I should be able to sleep till the ending. Once the ending does come I will mute my mic. Due to it being something I won't spoil, but I will have my mic muted just so you can hear it out. Oh, I did not mean to buy that. That's unlucky. Alright, start my view it. I'm just gonna sleep until morning. That's not it. Great, man. Okay, that should be it. Fuck day 15 is it. Let me make sure everyone's under control first. It is not under control. Come on, bud. Get back in your cage. I know you're not happy. Just to go back. And eat your food. I think another one teleported. Yes, he did. Come on, dude. You're making this harder than it has to be. I don't care too much about them because they don't teleport. Right. Come on, just just give me the ending, please. More star mail. Life is different now. Holy dude. What left does she have to say? Did I just not get star mail earlier on? Another tour. Oh, there we go. Here you go, guys. Please don't say that you go My heart can't bear the news Just knowing that you'll be A thousand light years away If you do Oh, if you do Well, I'm just sitting here Gazing up at the stars Let's say we pick one now
I'd like to thank you all for watching this series. If you'd like to see more of it, leave a comment down below and let me know. If not, that's it for Slime Rancher. I hope you all enjoyed. Goodbye.